Hi, you're face to face with Shell. Today we're coming from Clean Country Park once again, but a very different country park today. All the snow has gone and it's been raining quite a bit. So I'm going to try and do the full video from here. Um, if the rain gets any heavier, probably won't because I don't want the, the camera getting absolutely soaked. I hope you enjoyed the, the last two videos, um, the snow one, but I just wanted to show you how beautiful the snow is and how beautiful this park is. It's always beautiful, but I just feel the snow, it, it just adds a little more touch of magic. And the one um, that I just posted yesterday, now that was taken last Sunday um, after Burns Night. Um, I just, again, wanted to do a little impromptu video as well. So I hope you enjoyed them. Um, we were out celebrating Abby Burns' birthday and it was kind of a start to my birthday celebrations. My birthday was yesterday. I had a great day and there are more celebrations to come. So can't wait for those. The rain has actually started coming on a bit more heavier, so I'm going to do the rest of this video inside. I'm actually going to continue with the the health carers video, and I'm going to continue with the physios. So, sorry, but I'm, I'm going to have to leave it from the country park. So, hi, we're back. Um, I'm really sorry I couldn't continue the video from up the country park. I, I, I really do in, like showing you when I get out and about but today the, the rain was just coming on and it was getting heavier so I'm I'm so sorry. So I'm home now, all clean, showered, met a lovely little puppy. <laughs> um, he was absolutely gorgeous. I've met him before and he was jumping all about me and I got really muddy. But what I always say is if you come home clean you haven't had a good time. Anyway getting on with the video. So as I said, I'm going to continue with the health carers. The story I'm going to tell you is it involves the, the physio I spoke about in the, the other video. Um, didn't involve her at the start, um, but I had had an operation and the, it was the next day and the, another physio came. It wasn't a head physio, it was another one. And she came to fit me with one of my garments. Now, the, the garments I spoke about before, um, I had to wear them on my arms and my face to help flatten the scars. Now, obviously, just a, a day after an operation, you're still a bit groggy. And, and she came at visiting time, surprise, surprise. Um, and my mum was um, visiting me. And she wanted to try this new garment on my, my left arm. Okay, fair enough. But again, you've came at visiting time. I've just had an operation and there were stitches in my arm. It was up here. Now she's trying to pull on a very tight garment over my arm and over the stitches that have just been done the day before. And I'm like, no, I says, no, you're not doing it. I've got stitches here and you're not doing it. But I have to. And I says, you're not doing it. I'm not having you damaging the work that's just been done the day before. Well, she was not one bit happy. So she left. And it was maybe two days after this had happened. And this head physio, the one that I'd been talking about before, marched straight into the ward with this previous physio who had been trying to put the garment on my arm. Straight up the ward, I mean, and I mean matched. Didn't pull me from where I was, but near enough, sat me down and the way she treated me was absolutely dreadful. She was extremely angry that I hadn't allowed this other physio to put the the garment on but she wasn't willing to listen I mean I think I'd maybe been about maybe 15 at the time and I think she just thought well you didn't let her do this well this is what I'm doing to you she honestly that was I felt how she treated me I got very upset she was trying to make out that it was my mum 
who would not let her put on the garment. And I was like, no, it was me. And if you had read my notes, you would have found out why I wasn't allowing you to do it. Anyway, um, she did eventually leave after giving me a physiotherapy session with me just in floods of tears the, the whole time in front of everybody in the ward. She just thought she was something and she was out to prove that she knew better and she was going to be the one that would teach me a lesson and that is how I, I felt about it. As I said before, she just wasn't a nice person. She wasn't. And after she left, the nurses came and asked me if I was okay. And I said, no, because I wasn't. It was terrible the way I was treated. It really, really was. Just because I wouldn't let a physio put a garment on my arm that had just been operated on the day before and had stitches in it. Come on. Anyway, what should we have done? Yeah, we should have reported her. I was speaking to my mum about it the other day and my mum said, yeah, we should have, but at the time we didn't want to cause any more upset. But we should have. We should have reported her. How she treated me was absolutely terrible. And in front of everybody, you know, I just felt she had an audience and she was going to show me. This is how I felt she came marching into the ward. And we should have took that further. Her behaviour was absolutely terrible and I should have had a chance to explain why I hadn't let the previous physio do what she wanted to do. Thank you for watching and I'm really sorry if you have or are going through something like this and as I've said before, speak up. It may be hard to do so, but speak up. Thank you to my subscribers this is really appreciated and ha if you haven't already it would be great if you could subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell that so you don't miss any videos please give me a like and a share i'm trying to get this message out that you are not alone to as many people as possible i also have a website and i'll put a link in the description to this video for my website head over there that you'll find photographs and lots more information Thanks again for watching. Stay strong and we'll chat soon. Bye.